What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, we talk about fragrances and we talk about fashion. So if you love looking good, you love smelling great, then I think you will love this channel. So I recommend or I suggest or invite you to hit the subscribe button. And if you don't mind, make sure you click that bell icon as well to ensure you get notified when I upload new content on the channel. So guys, on today's video, we're going to be talking about five fragrances that I have in my collection that have crazy and insane longevity and projection. So what I'm saying, in other words, is these fragrances don't have performance issues. That's exactly what I'm saying. So <laughs> if you're one of those people that love fragrances that really, really perform, you're going to enjoy this list. Now, this is a comment or a question that I get all the time. So I know there's a lot of people out there that really are looking for those performers. Of course, I guess when you look at it, that's something that should be important to, to, to a lot of people because when you spend money, you want to get, you know, you want to get your money's worth. And oftentimes people relate the value of a fragrance, not only to how it smells, but how well, of course, it performs. So again, I have five great ones for you today. So if you want to hear what made the list of five fragrances in my collection that have crazy and insane longevity and projection, then you know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the list, man. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm going to just, you know, go ahead and do this and get out of your way. Uh, before I get into the actual list, I do want to say, if you have not picked up my fragrances, Obad and Serenade, you need to do so. Because honestly, Serenade should be on a list like this because this thing has crazy performance. If you saw a lot of my uh, first impressions videos that I did with other reviewers, a lot of them talked about how even before you got the package open, you could smell the fragrances emitting from uh, the package. So, of course, that's a testament to great performance. So, honestly, both Obad and Serenade perform well, but to me, Serenade is the monster beast mode projector. So, head on over to Novices, man, if you haven't gotten these fragrances yet, and uh, make sure you check those out. All right, guys, the first fragrance up on the list today, oh my gosh, man, this fragrance is so good. I'm so happy to have this in my collection, man. I've heard a lot of people talk, not a lot, but I've heard a few people talk about it and know about it that knows how good this fragrance is, but this thing has crazy performance from the house of Costume National. This is called Costume National Soul. Costume National Soul. And this is one of those fragrances that is so good. If you like oud, this has leather, oud, patchouli, as well as ambergris. So you already know that amber, ambergris kind of works with those, those heavier notes like the patchouli, again, the leather, the oud, it kind of gives this fragrance even better projection. So this thing performs like a monster on my skin. Now it does not smell like these fragrances, but if you're a person that likes fragrances like Portrait of a Lady, or if you like, uh, what's the other fragrance that I'm thinking about? Uh, if you like, if you like Rose Omeyad from Atelier des Ors, if you like, you know those fragrances that have a nice oud combination, uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, Ombre Nomad. If you like fragrances like that, I think this is a fragrance that you would enjoy. If you like a fragrance that's kind of complex, this thing has is very high quality, well done. It was actually done by Dominique Lopion. Man, this is one that you gotta check out. And I know where you can get it, head over to Max Aroma. This is where I got this from, maxaroma.com. I will leave the link down in the description where you can get this fragrance. All the fragrances on the list today are available at maxaroma.com, so make sure that you head over there and check it out. But man, this thing performs 10 plus hours on my skin. I get 10 plus hours on my skin, but it's an amazing fragrance. And again, it's kind of low key because not a lot of people talk about this fragrance. Not a lot of people talk about the Costume National uh, line of fragrances, and they have some very, very well done fragrances, high quality material, high quality material used in the fragrances. So man, Check this one out, man. Again, this one is called Costume National Soul. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Amouage, and this one is called Beach Up Man. Beach Up Man. And what I love about this one is this is a more fresh kind of interpretation of a fragrance that gives you great beast mode performance. Now, I talked about this fragrance earlier this year, and I talked about how much I just love this fragrance. It has a nice minty opening uh, as it opens up, but as it dries down, it becomes more about the woods and the nice 
kind of rich, deep patchouli uh, that's used in this particular scent. But again, it opens up really, really fresh, kind of has a gentlemanly kind of quality about it. But man, again, this thing really performs like a monster. So if you haven't put your nose on this uh, and you love mint, definitely, I think this is one you would enjoy from the house of Unwise. Again, this is called Beach Hut Man. All right, guys, now the next fragrance on this list, this one comes from the house of Parfums Amali, and this is called Layton Exclusive. Layton Exclusive. Now, I was already a fan of the original Layton, but man, they made that particular DNA one that really can be worn in the fall, especially the winter season. This one has the addition of coffee. There is oud in this as well. And so you get that coffee, and again, that kind of really deep, rich, woody oud uh, as the fragrance starts to dry down. Now the oud is not overpowering in this fragrance because again, the coffee, the amber in this kind of gives it a nice warm balance as it dries down. But the one thing that it does is really helps this fragrance perform. Now Layton, the original Layton performed well on my skin as well. I got about seven, seven and a half hours out of that. But this one gives me about that nine hour mark uh, with the addition of those, like I said, those heavier notes, you know, the oud, the amber, and the coffee. So an amazing fragrance with beast mode performance. Check it out from the House of Parfums de Marley. This is Layton Exclusive. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one performed like crazy on my skin. Almost performs too well. Uh, from the House of Mancera, this one is called Instant Crush. Instant Crush. Now, when this fragrance first came out, everybody talked about how this fragrance smelled like uh, Baccarat Oud 540. Does it resemble that fragrance? Yes, but this fragrance is a lot heavier, a lot more dense, and a lot sweeter than Baccarat Oud 540. That fragrance is really more transparent. It's in some ways, it's kind of, uh, in some ways, kind of a light fragrance. This one is really, really heavy. And what really differentiates the two is the, the vanilla note in this. This vanilla note is very, very strong, very heavy, and very prominent as this fragrance really starts to dry down. Uh, you also get some oat moss in here as well. Uh, but this thing performs like a monster. Now, Baccarat Rouge, it kind of has uh, that performance kind of plays tricks with you. It's kind of in and out. This thing lets you know I'm here, and I'm here for a long time. Performance is great. It smells good, again, about... I would say 30, 40% similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, but this does have its own uniqueness about the DNA uh, of Instant Crush. But again, if you're looking for one that has beast mode performance, at least on my skin, uh, this one definitely fits the bill. So check it out, man, from the House of Mancera. Again, this is called Instant Crush. All right, guys, and last but not least, the last fragrance on the list today, this one comes from the House of Victor and Rolf, and this one is called Spice Bomb Extreme. Spice Bomb Extreme. If you like the original, I think you would probably like this one even better. Again, we have an amped up note, just like with Instant Crush, an amped up note of vanilla in this fragrance. Again, it's very, very prominent, and I get a nine hours of performance, sometimes nine, nine and a half hours of performance off this particular scent on my skin. Uh, it projects really, really well for that first three, three and a half hours. And so out of the uh, collection of the Spice Bomb collection, if you're looking for the performer, out of that collection look no further than spice bomb extreme i love this stuff especially it's that time of year for guys fall and winter this thing really performs well and it's a really really versatile scent uh to wear when it's cooler outside you can wear it dressed up or dressed down and it's going to get the job done so check this one out again it's a great performing fragrance and it smells fantastic from the house of victor and Rolf. this one is called spice bomb Extreme. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this list of fragrances today. As I gave you five fragrances from my collection that have crazy beast mode performance and projection. Don't forget, guys, you can find any of these fragrances that I talked about on this list today over on Max Aroma's website. So head on over to Max Aroma. If you want to check something out that I talked about today, I will leave a link down in the description. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos because of course I understand you could have been anywhere else in the world, you guys don't have to watch, but you do and I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share these videos out to some folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because I'm your guy, Darren, the bow tie, fragrance guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell absolutely amazing. So until next time guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better, I'll catch you on the flip side, <laughs> peace.